Look here at this rectangular shaded region. You know you can easily determine the area using your basic geometry length times width. We're looking here everything in terms of three different routes from the least involved to the most involved. Obviously, you'll always pick the easiest routes when you're doing math. Your geometric approach is easy. You're doing length times width, two times three, and you know it's equal to a six. What's another route? Look at everything here in terms of single integrals. I have two functions here. I have this horizontal line, y equals three. I have another horizontal line, my x-axis, which is y equals zero. You're looking here at a top boundary function minus lower boundary function with regards to dx, lower limit along the x-axis, upper limit along the x-axis, and we compute this. We can push the three out. I have a two and a four dx. When you integrate this, you have an antiderivative x. You have a three sitting out. You have a four and a two. 4 minus 2 is a 2 times that 3, you'll have an area 6, and it's a single integral route. Let's look here at terms of double integrals. How can we do this in terms of double integral? We'll do everything here with regards to a dx along the horizontal, then we'll push it up along to a dy vertical axis. What do I mean? When I'm looking at it, I have two limits here along the x-axis, and they are 2 and 4, and you're looking here at everything with the dx. This is going to be nested along a dy integral and that's going from 0 to 3. We have 2 to the 4 and then we're going from 0 to 3 and that's going to give you your area as well. When you do the antiderivative here you have an x and you have a 4 and a 2 and it's nested in the 0 and 3 and dy. You do 4 minus 2 you have a 2. Now you're pushing the 2 out and you have 0, 3, dy. The antiderivative here is a y from a 3, 0 and a 2 sitting outside. You'll get here a 2 times a 3 minus 0 2 times 3, and you'll have your area 6. Obviously, this is the most sensible. This writer is relatively sensible, and this may be superfluous technique, but I'm still showing a double integral route to determine this area. You're seeing geometric, single integral, and a double integral route. Always go for the easiest route where and when you can.